uh, moving, you know, to instead of a linear sequence to a non-linear sequence, hugely supported by peer-to-peer -peer, um, networking and learning. Also moving from, you know, an obsolescence. You know, if we look at in the education world, huge amount of obsolescence in the printed format to constantly monitoring and updating in real time as we go. And the real time piece is also hugely relevant, much more engaging for students that what they're learning about is what's actually happening in the world today. And, you know, also moving from where we're enhanced and directed by, you know, a teacher as an, a, or a subject matter expert to, to those teachers and subject matter experts being able to switch to more of a facilitating exploratory role in the classroom. We, certainly from our point of view in education, we believe that the, you know, the impetus, the impetus for growth is hugely around the area of mobile. You know, we're saying all roads lead to mobile, uh, you know, from, you know, the convergence of collaboration to social learning, uh, you know, video-based reference where, you know, and mobile learning. You know, mobile learning for us in our vision of democratizing education is, is the hugely, the holy grail today. Because it means anywhere you are in the world, if we can reach you through your mobile device, you know, we can bring the best in learning to you wherever you are. And you're no longer uh, constricted by or confined to your classroom or by how good your teacher is in that particular subject, because we're curating together the best in the world in delivery of instruction and bringing them to you in a mobile way. You know, as we look then, the other areas of focus for us, as we look at the evolution of our business in this transformation from, you know, a, a print-centered model to digital, is, you know, really looking at high-value content media, the huge use of video, seeing we're, we have a huge switch to using video to deliver instruction, and, you know, really using real-world today contexts. A huge, a huge focus on immersive virtual learning experiences, social and collaboration, you know, our our students are collaborating with or without us uh, through social networks and using social media. And it is really important that we leverage what they're doing and, and design it into the learning process, which is a huge area for focus for us at the moment. And that ubiquitous mobile experience, really leveraging the concept of 24 seven learning, on demand learning, and you're breaking down that concept of the you know, walls of a classroom and that traditional nine to five model of learning. Um, peer to peer, you know, mentoring communities, we've got um, huge pilots underway at the moment where we have students you know, supporting each other in a peer to peer way using mobile technology. So when they're outside of the classroom and they're at home and they're in their homework cycle, how they're using mobile technology to support each other in the continuing learning proce process. Also looking at, you know, huge area of focus for us is the gamification of content. And what we mean by that is really using mechanics, mechanics of game design and how we leverage those into the learning um, environments of the future. Remixing content rather than, there is a lot of content already available, you know, so we don't have to generate you know, a hell of a lot of new content. It's really how we remix it uh, for consumption, you know, in, in, in a new way. Also looking at the whole area of augmented reality and how, again, that can hugely enhance the delivery of our content in an educational context. And of course, with that, we're also looking at a whole new di distribution models and e new economic models around our business. Just a vision of you know, what we're calling our digital um, education network, which is the end game for us on this cycle of evolution of our business model, which is really you know, the student at the center, a student-centric approach to learning, which I think in the Western world has not been the focus. It has been very teacher-centric as opposed to student-centric. So leveraging technology to switch to a student-centric mode of learning, you know, where we can aggregate, as I said, content just in time to meet the individual needs of that student, uh, curate it, they can c communicate in a social context. And of course, you know, we're aligning the content to the DNA of that user. So now what I'd like to do is just talk to you about some of the initiatives that we have underway in this region uh, and talk to you a little bit about the localization of educational content. 
So we have a number of initiatives underway. One is we have localised the entire interactive curriculum which we call our destination series. So math, reading and science all have been localised and are available now for the Saudi market. We have also completed the localisation of all our math and science textbooks for the UAE. And we're in the process of uh, completing a very, very large endeavour in conjunction with the Liberian uh, Ministry for Education, which is a blended, a localisation of both the print and digital, you know, provision of uh, a localised delivery platform for the country, um, professional development for all of the educators in the country, and uh, all mobile enabled, but we're also looking at a TV delivery of all of this localised content for Libya. So the localisation effort when we look at uh, educational content, it's a lot more complex than just translating the, the written word or the spoken word. We're, we're looking at a deep cultural adaptation. Children have a huge sensitivity to their cultural norms and will pick up anything that is wrong right quicker than we might. Um, so it's both the cultural adaptation, you know, which, which is the graphic and the visual adaptation as well as the language, uh, and also all of the uh, re-recording of audio, etc. And we have a policy, you know, that for all of our planning of the cultural adaptation, all the re-recording of audio, etc., we will do it in the country where the product will be used to ensure that we capture that local essence. Uh, of course, we do all of the curriculum realignment to the way the curriculum is delivered in that country, lesson plan customization, etc. And uh, as a part of that process, we work very closely with the with the local uh, ministries for education in each country and local curriculum experts. So it's really a partnership. Uh, we have found it hugely successful. The partnerships that we have formed to date. Uh, in this region and the value add that has had to the overall content adaptation and localization efforts. So very much a partnership both from an economic point of view in terms of our uh, partnership with teams in the region but also you know, the overall quality of the product is, is far superior based on those partnerships. So that's just an example to show you, you know, our destination content localised in Arabic and you can see more of that. We do have a booth in the exhibition next door if you're interested in seeing some of this live. So just in closing then, you know, we, our mission you know, is to democratise education um, by lowering the bar for entry through mobile delivery. Um, we see you know, digital and the digitisation of this business as a, a po hugely positive force for advancing this mission we have, this global mission. You know, we can solve you know, a lot of the teaching and learning challenges today, personal, make it personal, always on, on demand, you know, reaches our, anyone regardless of their physical location. Certainly as well, looking at the way new forms of knowledge and how it is accessed and a rethink of content, not just in the traditional model, the publisher or the content creator creating the content, but also the end user the consumer creating the content. We have huge experience of that going on today very successfully. Of course, there's huge new uh, forms of commerce and economic activity, new business opportunity presents around this new model, uh, you know, and also uh, the learning networks that we're creating that involve you know, a lot of collaboration, participation, remixing, etc. So you know, it's very exciting for us you know, to imagine the possibilities. Thank you all.